Uh, with geometry nodes, you can build this laser effect uh, that you can apply to a different object like a mesh object or a text object. And also the setup for this is really uh, simple. Hello everyone, myself Kuldeep Singh and in this video we're going to build this laser effect with geometry nodes in Blender 4.1 because the bloom setting is available in the render tab and it is easy to control all these settings here. Okay, so let's get started. Let's add a plane. So we're going to build the setup based on this plane and later we're going to change or input any different object, mesh object or a text object. Okay, so let's add the geometry nodes modifier. First we need is the extrude node and we're going to extrude based on the edges of this input or mesh and also make this offset zero. Then we're going to add the set position node and use this top to the selection. Now here we're going to specify the position of the vertices or the geometry that is newly extruded. So for this, we're going to add the empty. So let me pin this. So let's rename this empty as source. Uh, because with this empty, we're going to specify the position of the light source or the laser source. So let's bring that here. Make this relative and plug this position to the this position. Now, if I move this empty, let's say here, let me off this snap. See, it's like a light is casting from this point and creating this plane or this object next we need to build up some of the uh, masks and falloffs for the material to create that really nice material for this laser effect okay let's first separate the geometry uh, based on the faces and here we're going to use this side selection so it will provide the geometry that is extruded by this uh, node and also the base geometry okay so for the base we're going to store the mask so that we can later mask out this geometry in the material let's say call this as base mask and for this geometry this laser geometry we're going to subdivide this so that uh, we have a more geometry to create the second attribute that is uh, the fall off and also it's going to smooth the uvs okay next we're going to join them here we're going to add the proximity node to first get the distance based fall off change this to edges and if we view this see we have this and this is without subdivision if we add one two or three see we have this nice distance and then we can add the blur node to further smooth this fall off maybe two yeah next we need the fall off of from this empty okay from this empty to this uh, base geometry so for that we need to calculate the distance from this empty to each uh, vertices of this geometry if we view this we have this something like this see it is black here means the distance is zero here and maximum at these vertices so we can um, remap this distance from this value to a zero one value or zero one range so that make easy to uh, work with in the shader nodes okay let's add the attribute uh, statistic node and we want to calculate the minimum and maximum of this distance then we're going to add the map range node to remap this distance to zero and one value okay so if you view this we have something like this so this is before and this is after and also we need to invert that okay so one is near to this light source and zero near to this plane okay or the base mesh 
then we need to multiply it this fall off to this approximately based distance so this is before and with this we have something like this next we need to store this and call this as fall off okay next we going to add the set material node add the material to this geometry okay so this is the complete uh, setup for this laser effect okay next we going to add the material to this let's select that material here and if you press ctrl t you can add these nodes if you have enabled the node regular add-on okay let's add the image texture this texture is going to be projected by this light source onto this plane okay you can use any kind of texture for this i'm going to use this texture and in the coordinate side we can mix the generator coordinate with the uv coordinates and i'll show you why it is really important so this is the uv coordinates and this is the generated coordinates and if we mix something like around 0.95 or maybe slightly higher see we have some of the details of the texture so that will give a really nice impression like this texture is projected by this light source okay so you can use this effect and here we need to bring those uh, attributes that we stored here in the geometry nodes let's add the attribute node first we need to bring the fall off node and then here add the ramp node so this ramp node is going to control the number of rays based on this texture and with this we are going to multiply it by this fall off so that we can control the fall off so let's multiply this to this first we need to convert this and with this value you can control the offset of the fall off let's call this uh, offset value fall off offset and with this second value you can control the intensity of the laser beam okay so let's call this intensity i think 0.35 is fine next we're going to use this value for the alpha and also use this value as the strength for the emission down 50 and use the color of this texture also for the emission now let's go to the option enable the alpha blend and also enable this show back faces and let me change the background to black and also enable the blue so now we have this and another thing is that we need to apply this effect only to the laser beam not to this base plane for that we are going to use the mask attribute so for the base plane we are going to use this normal texture and for the laser we are going to use this follow paste texture and here we are going to add that mask so let's duplicate that and type here base mask you can also use this value as well okay so it is up to you with this you can animate the texture so let's animate that add the combine node then add the multiply node and after that we need to add the value node so here we're going to first bring the time with this driver option and with this we are going to control the speed for this animation we can also animate the y axis of the coordinates see one thing you may notice that this laser beam is only at the edges of this plane it is not inside this plane now we can add that if we go to edit mode of this plane we can subdivide this in this way we can add more number of laser planes or laser beams to this plane 
now it is more uh, 3d it has some depth inside this beam and if we go to this geometry node setup uh, you can add the random node here so with this basically you can control the this number of beams laser beams okay you may know that when laser light pass through the medium let's say air and air may have some dust particles and it's going to be scattered by those dust particles that create really nice specular highlight to the beam i want to add that to this beam for that first we need the mapping node then uh, we need the voronoi node voronoi texture node we're going to use this color for the a uh, normal map and distance for the strength but first we going to use the ramp node so that we can have some control over the strength and then we going to use the multiply node because we only want to apply this effect to this beam not to this uh, plane okay so for that we need to use this mask first we need to convert this mask connect this to color so this is before and this is after so let's connect this to multiply node and then connect this to the normal here we are going to make 0.25 metallic and 0.15 roughness see we have these highlights we need to increase the scale around maybe 500 and with this ramp node we can basically control these highlights see these scatterings in the beam so that give really nice effect to this beam you can also decrease the scale to means add and increase the size of these dust particles maybe if i add 100 now we have this bigger dust particles specular highlights okay so this is the material for the laser effect this is the laser part and this is the specular highlights based on the dust particles in the media now let's apply this effect to a different object let's try this on to a cube we need to store the UV map, change this to 2D vector and this to a face corner and also type here UV map. Now this is applied to this cube and here you can also add the transform geometry node to animate this cube. Let's make this probability one because it has few polygons. So with this, you can animate this geometry and also the texture is animated. I think we need to decrease the speed of this texture. Yeah, something like that. Let's apply this to the text object let's add this store attribute node here so first we need is the s to c node basically string to curve node so we have this text then we're going to realize this and then uh, we need to fill this uh, with triangular option with triangles i think we can make this at the center and let's plug this into the geometry let's also clear this rotation size may be around 3 so there is nothing because we need to supply the UV map so we can add the UV unwrap node and plug that into this so we have this UV map for this text.
you can type different letter maybe k or b or blender and with this you can control the number of this laser beams let's type x again and you can also animate this source position uh, for this effect So this is how you can apply this effect uh, to this text or to this mesh object. I have also created this laser effect preset and it is available with the extra nodes. You can get all these project files and presets from my Patreon page and that is also a nice way to support this channel. I hope you learned something from this video. And if you like, then please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more updates. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Happy nodding. Bye.